Welcome to the rasterization section of the transfer rip video. In this section of the video I will explain why the rasterization of images is one of the most important options for a long and successful business in the digital heat transfer industry. First of all, what is rasterization? In short, rasterization places small holes in the image to make it more durable, washable while producing better colors and providing a unique look to the design. Why should you use rasterized designs? Rasterization removes the negative parts of the image and keeps the parts of the image which are required for an image to be recognizable. Depending on the image being rasterized, you can save up to 25% on your overall tone and costs. If you are using the dark media raster and you have a lot of white in your image, then less toner is removed. But if your image has a lot of dark areas, then more toner is removed from the image, saving you this tone cost. The light to dark shading or gradient areas of an image are replaced with dots in various sizes and distance between them. This process generates a gradient-like effect in the image. The tiny dots are blended into the smooth tones by the human eye. To our eyes, it looks like a gradient, but on closer inspection, we are looking at small dots. Those small dots are the main reason why rasterized images are softer, as well as having a higher washability. Because rasterized images are made up of mostly dots, water can easily pass through the image when the garment is being washed. This is the main reason why rasterized images have increased washability. Rasterized images not only save toner, provide a softer touch with increased washability, but the end result produces a unique look. A look that other heat transfer papers cannot do. We have three ways to rasterize images within the transfer rib. The first and main raster option is the dark media raster. The dark media raster is best used for printing onto dark garments. To have a successful transfer onto dark garments, the dark areas of the image are not required. The dark media raster removes those areas. The dark media raster is not recommended for transferring to light garments. This is because the dark media raster removes the dark areas of the image, which are required for printing images on light garments. The light media raster is best suited for printing onto light garments. Using the light media raster for printing onto dark garments is not recommended. The reason for this is because the light media raster removes the light areas of the image. The light areas of the image are necessary when printing onto dark garments. The last raster option is the micromask raster option. The micromask raster is similar to the dark and light media rasters in that it places holes in the image. The difference between the raster options is that the micromask raster places an even amount of holes across the whole image. The dark and light raster options have dots in various sizes and distance between them. This is because these dots generate a gradient-like effect in the image, which is perfect for photographs. If you have images without gradients and shading, then the Micromask raster is the best option for those images. Because the Micromask places small holes across the whole image, it even rasterizes white areas of the image. Like in the examples, the Micromask raster can be used on both light and dark colored garments and is best used for vector graphics, logos or large areas of toner. Each raster option can be customized to work with your garment to avoid cracking, making the design more washable, softer or simply to create a unique look for your design. You can choose from 7 different raster dot shapes. Each dot shape looks different providing a unique look to your design. The dot shapes we have are Euclidean, round, square, line, pin cushion, rhombus and elliptical. Euclidean is our standard dot raster shape. It is similar to the round dot shape in that it produces round dots, but in some cases it is inverted. The line dot shape can be used to help reduce the cracking of images when the garment is being stretched. By changing the angle of the line raster to match the up and down stitch of the garment, you can prevent your image from cracking. This is because your image has been cut up into lines and moved with the garment structure as it is being stretched. If a line raster design follows the garment structure, it can be stretched without cracking the design. The line raster option moves with the garments, while other raster dot shapes cannot move. By choosing the line raster, the printed image is cut up into very fine lines, which match the structure of the cotton garment. So as the cotton garment moves or stretches, the design simply moves with it, without causing any cracks to the image. Each raster dot shape can be customized to fit your image or situation, using different dot sizes. The standard size we recommend is a max size between 25 and 30. You can increase the washability of your image or soften the touch by using a lower mask size. But there is only one issue with this, by lowering the mask size, you are risking the image becoming unrecognizable. Remember, the lower the mask size, the more toner is removed from the image, but as the raster dots become larger, the image quality is affected. 
The higher the mask size, the less tone is removed as the dots become smaller, but the image quality improves. By using a mask size of 40 or higher, we make the image more recognisable. But the downside to using such a high mask size is the image becomes harder, less washable and uses more toner. Using a mask size between 25 and 30 maximises the washability, produces the best colours, softens the image and keeps the image quality high while saving you toner.